Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I am doing five easy breakfast ideas. I love breakfast, it's my favorite meal of the day. I would eat breakfast foods for every meal if I could. So I thought I would show you five breakfast recipes that I've been loving. They're pretty quick and easy. I think like two of them might take a little bit more time than the others. Nine out of 10 times, I'm gonna pick a sweet breakfast. So keep that in mind while you're watching this. But if you guys wanna see some more like savory breakfasts, let me know. Yeah, I just wanted to give a quick little intro to this video and let's get started. First breakfast is vanilla protein oatmeal. It's literally one of my staple breakfasts. It's just one third cup oats, two thirds cup water, and then I micro it for two minutes, but just do what your oat package says to do. And then when that's done, I'll give it a little mix, and then I add a scoop of vanilla protein powder, and I'll mix that until basically there's just no clumps or lumps and it's well incorporated. And then I like to change the toppings up depending on what I'm feeling, but today I did frozen cherries and frozen blueberries. I love using frozen fruit. It's delicious. The next breakfast is French toast. I've been on a French toast kick lately. It just sounds so good to me all the time. So to make it it's super easy, you just add two eggs or however many you want for however many French toasts you're making. Two eggs, the vanilla, a bunch of cinnamon, and then just scramble those eggs. And then you get your bread. I try to be gluten-free, so I'm using Trader Joe's gluten-free bread. And you just put the pieces of bread in the egg mixture and let it soak up the eggs. And then while I'm doing that, I'm also buttering a pan. And so when the bread is all soaked with egg, I add it to the pan. And I don't really know how you tell when French toast is like done cooking, but I just kept flipping it until it wasn't soggy anymore. And to me, that meant the eggs were done. And I like to top mine with fruit. Today I did strawberries and blueberries. I did fresh fruit today instead of the frozen fruit like I did for my oatmeal. And then of course I have to add syrup. Love syrup and it's so good and it just looks so pretty and it really just hit the spot. <laughs> I just want to give a little warning to this breakfast. My chia seeds were expired so they didn't soak up like they should. But if your chia seeds are not expired, this will work. So for protein chia seed pudding, you're just going to need two tablespoons of chia seeds and add that to a jar or something that you can seal because you're going to soak it overnight. So I just do two tablespoons of chia seeds, half a cup of any milk, plant-based or not. I'm using oat milk, but it works really well with coconut milk too. And then I just do a scoop of protein powder, mix it all together, and then I like to refrigerate mine overnight. I've heard people say you can do it for a couple hours, but I've always loved mine overnight because I like when it's a paste. And then when I woke up in the morning, I transferred it to a bowl and it was very liquidy, which it's usually not this bad. So I think my chia seeds were just expired. But I added some frozen blueberries on top just for a simple little topping. I didn't want much and it was delicious, even though it was a little more soupier than I like. <laughs> The next breakfast is a peanut butter and berry smoothie bowl, so I just added, I want to say, like a full frozen banana. They were cut in thirds, so I just did three. I just added some frozen cherries and frozen mixed berries, and then I also used oat milk, and I didn't measure any of this, um, but also any liquid will work. And then I just blended it, and I like my smoothies really thick, so it took me a while to blend this, but if you just keep like pushing down the frozen stuff, it'll eventually blend. At least that's my philosophy on it. Once it's all blended and at the consistency that I wanted, I added it to a bowl and then I topped it with my favorite granola. It's the Purely Elizabeth granola and I think it's just the original flavor. I think that's what it's called, but it's so good. And then I drizzled some peanut butter, hence the PB and Berry smoothie bowl. I literally just stumbled across this peanut butter at Sprouts and it's the Sprouts brand and it's so good. But the smoothie bowl was delicious and it really hit the spot. The last breakfast are protein pancakes and this is choosing chia's recipe i love it i've made it multiple times and it's so good so you're just going to start with a cup of flour i'm using gluten-free flour and then half a cup of protein powder i'm using vanilla and i think it measured out to about three scoops if you don't want to use a measuring cup and then it's three cups of baking powder you're going to mix it all up and then add an egg and then one cup and a fourth of milk i'm using almond milk and then two tablespoons of oil. I'm using avocado oil, but I've also used vegetable oil and it works great. Vanilla, and I never measure vanilla. And then you're just going to mix it until there's no lumps. And then I add butter to a pan to make sure nothing sticks and start making your pancakes. I made about nine pancakes using this scoop. I did two scoops per pancake. 
and I meal prepped it for the week. These kept really well in the fridge and I could eat them throughout the week and they didn't get soggy or anything. So if you're looking for a quick meal prep breakfast, this is amazing and you can obviously add like blueberries or chocolate chips into the pancakes to make them different throughout the week. But I really like this and when they're all done, I just plated them and added strawberries and syrup and they were delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked all these breakfast ideas. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. I love to cook. I love finding new recipes and making new creations. So if you want to see more food videos, let me know. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next week. Bye.